Hello everyone and welcome back to So Kelly Riffic. Today we are back here at Universal Studios Hollywood. Of course, I'm gonna walk around the park, look for some updates, and just see what else we could find. So come along and let's go. All right, so I'm in the park. First things first, let's head into the Universal Studios store to see if there's any new merch. Here in the Super Nintendo section, they do have these Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge keychains. That's so cool. We got Princess Peach, and we also got Toad. Look at Toad, poor Toad. How cute though. Here's a look at Mario cruising down Rainbow Road. Also, I currently don't see Bowser in like the square format, only like this little circle. We also got Luigi, so it just looks like no Yoshi in this format yet. All right, I haven't seen this Quidditch duffel bag. They do have this in the Harry Potter section, along with these. These came out like a few weeks ago, but I didn't show them, so just wanted to give you a little quick overview. They also have received their Grad Bash merch, Universal Studios Grad Bash class of 2023. Not only do they have the shirt, they also have a sweater as well. So this is what the front looks like. And here is a glimpse of the back. It's the same design as a t-shirt, but in case you want it like in a sweatshirt form. So last time I showed you a few new items from this collection, but I do want to mention that through August 2023, 100% of the profits from Love is Universal will be donated to the Los Angeles LGBT Center. So that is super awesome. And this is one item that they didn't have last time that they just got in again with their slogan love is universal here's a look at the sleeves and of course we got to look at the back and this is an actual spirit jersey the brand and it is 75 dollars as of today the plaza is still not open for guests but they do have fast and the furious cars right in the center so that's super cool i love when they do like little promotions you got little stuff to look at i feel like this plaza should be opening pretty soon and when it does, you can come take your photo with these cars. We got the bride and Frankenstein out today. Always a fan favorite. They're just hilarious. Look at them. <laughs> All right, so we are over here to look at this house. And the only noticeable differences that I see are like the windows are now colored and it looks super nice. This just is looking pretty. Not so scary as of yet. But again, we don't have any announcement on what this house is, but I'll do a little walk around to see what the rest of it looks like. So, so far, Production Central is still open. So we're gonna head on in to see if they have any new items. They did bring in some items from the Universe store because they did get a new Felix a Cat collection. But you could come and get it now for 50% off. Again, like this is regular $22. And now it is 50% off and look how cute. They have some really nice stuff. I so like that shirt, but they didn't have my size. But they do have some Minion merch as well that is also on sale. We got Gru jamming out. Hello, Gru! <laughs> of course, we had to come check on the progress over here on this house. As you can see, the walls are up, but no facade as of yet, but they are moving quite fast, so I'm sure it'll be up pretty soon. Also, let's take a look at this house from this perspective. Again, I'm going to go on the studio tour, just see if there's any differences. But from this angle, it looks like the facade kind of looks the same as well. But we'll definitely be checking in on that. Look at Bart and Homer, that's so cool. You're inside the store. <laughs> Today we got both Homer and Bart out. Always nice seeing them together. They're such an awesome meeting and greet. They're always so fun. So currently we are going to head on to the studio tour. Of course, I want to look at the Halloween Horror Night updates. So let's head on in. All right, I want to apologize because when I got home and looked back at this footage, I filmed this as if I was in the earthquake section of the studio tour. But I did pause it so you could get a look at the facade. <laughs> but hopefully next time I'll be more aware and it won't be as chaotic as it is now. Hopefully we don't this get hit. Right there, looking, good so far. looking good so far. Looking good, looking good. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Anyway, I got hit. So for the last houses, like near the Curious George parking lot, um, there wasn't a lot of like visible work done to the facades that we hadn't seen the week prior. They are probably working inside. I did see a tweet from John Murdy. And they said that they're working in the interior scenic areas. So that's what they're probably doing for now. But we're definitely going to keep our eye out on it. Just see if there's any other visible changes in the upcoming weeks. 
All right, we haven't had lunch yet, so we stopped here at Three Broomsticks, one of my favorite places to eat here at Universal. We are sharing the fish and chips, which is always delicious. We got a frozen butter beer, and today we got dessert, sticky toffee pudding. So again, this is one of my favorite places to eat here. I also like Toadstool Cafe, of course, but I haven't been here early enough to get a reservation. So hopefully I get to eat there soon because that place is good as well. But for now, Three Broomsticks is where it's at. Look at this fish and chip. We shared, but so good. So crispy, so fresh. I love it. All right, everyone. So there wasn't like a ton of updates for this video, but again, I will be back next week and hopefully we get some newer stuff here in the parks. But for now, don't forget to hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button because we're gonna have more videos coming soon. Until next time, bye guys.